and YouTube. All right, today we're going to be looking at the Hot Toys Star Wars The Mandalorian and Child Deluxe version. It is TMS015, but before we get started, I grabbed a beer from the Crate O Beer that I got from Tavor and or Tavour, I still don't know how to say it. So, let's pop the top and get it going. Oh, this is blueberry, sorry. This is from Wiley Roots Brewing Blueberry Heritage, a sour wheat ale with blueberry. Pretty simple, 5.3 alcohol by va volume. This was canned on the 21st of December. Hold on, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna spill if I do it the other way. Uh-oh, this may have been in the freezer too long. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Don't know when this is going to be up, but it is Sunday. Happy Valentine's Day. So there we go. I'll pour it out. Let's have a whiff. It smells like blueberry. All right, here we go. It tastes like a blueberry, but it's not very sour. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't like it. Gonna drink it. Don't like it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that aside. Let's get started. All right, so front of the box. Mando. Star Wars. We got the little strip that comes across. When you open it up, you got this artwork. You remove the artwork and you have the plastic tray. But I took everything out already. So there's that. Let's just put this back up. All right. So, hold on. I'm going to apologize now for as I'm moving all the the camera around as we go. All right, when you get him out, this is what he looks like. Oh, we are too close. We'll have to go up and then we'll work our way like so. Okay. Got the nice look of the helmet there. It actually has a lot of range of motion, which is nice. You got his Beskar armor. He comes with, well, we'll get into that, but we got the shoulder pauldrons. You know, for it being Beskar, I expect it to be shiny, but it's not. Which is not, I mean, it's okay. We got his belt, his gauntlet. This is from um, season one. When he gets his Beskar. Little rockets there. And then we got his plates. I actually like these boots. Oh, that's an accessory. We'll get to that later. And these, some of these come out. So you got to be careful. Not this one. Not that one. That one does. Some of them come out. Because apparently, you can put these in the gun. Here's a look at his boot. The detail on this is amazing. The back. More of these things that come out these all these come out these yeah, all four of these these two uh detonators here do not come out but they did send one that does i actually like this cape it's a nice i don't know what kind of material it feels like i don't know it's soft it's nice though so yeah okay so range motion head is amazing lots of range motion okay arms there is a fat suit under this thing so he you know as far as arm it's about as high as it goes right doesn't really go up much there is a bicep swivel and the elbows go way past 90 degrees which is nice and then you got the there's a hinge on here and you can rotate the hinge so that you you know so that works um same thing with this elbow goes up pretty past past 90 which is nice bicep there is a little bit of an ab twist, but not not much movement there. I don't know. I'm still relatively new to Hot Toys, so... Yeah. Okay, as far as legs go, his legs goes back quite a bit. Kick up. Oh, I popped off his foot. That's okay, we'll just pop it back on here. There we go. So, yeah. So there's got to be, and then there is a thigh swivel, and he does have plenty of, you know, this one doesn't go out as far. You got, oh wait, can this go? Oh yeah, it does. It does go out as far. So there we go. The foot, 
back and forth, a little bit of a rocker. It's on a ball joint, so I mean, you get movement as a ball. So overall, I think he looks pretty good. Um, as far as I was trying to pose him earlier, and I having trouble get him to put his arm straight up. So that's about as far as he goes. I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely takes some work. All right, there's that. Let's go to what he comes with. Let's first off, he comes with Gro Grogu or the child. Um, it also has a necklace. I put him on this one. His head just pops off like so. You take the necklace off. You can switch. He came with two Grogu's. So you can switch the heads. And the other one comes in the pram. And he's magnetic. So he just sits in there. Head does move. And like I said, these heads are swappable. So you can switch them out. And then you also have... Come on, get in there. There we go. The pram. The pram looks nice. It's a little beat up. But I like it. So, there's that. And then it comes with this nice clear stick. Stick underneath here. And it comes with this section of the base. Which, by you don't need to actually have it next to the Mandalorian base. If you want to put it like that, you can. This rock here comes out. And you stick that in like so. And ta-da! Or if he's right next to the base, you just turn it. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I dig that. I dig the two Grogu's. I mean, you can put them in here. Whoa. Whoa. I'm pretty sure. You, I mean, you're going to have to finesse it, but I'm sure you can get them to hold the kid. There we go. Look. Ah, Isn't that cute? All right. So we got that. And it did come with the little uh, uh, necklace here. Oh, it's all twisted, though. Figures. Bam. Let's get a good look at the necklace looks good. The arms do not move on this one. Which would be nice and they give the Grogu a little articulation. But hey, what are you gonna do? Alright, come on, hold up. There we go. Now let's look at some of the accessories that come with this. So let's start off with his jetpack. Just solid silver. Not really silver, not really shiny enough for me. It is magnetic. So he does just snap on right there. Bam. I guess you can move it. It does come with these two effects. You stick it in the bottom of here. Bam. There you go. Now he's blast off. All right, what else does he come with? Okay, he comes with a plethora of hands. He has five different hands. So he has the trigger finger, right trigger finger, um, this gripping hand. I don't know what that's for. And then we have a right fist. This one looks like it holds the Viro blade. And then another left hand that is for... Nope, this is another right hand. My bad. He's, yeah, no. Yeah, right hand. Sorry, right hand. Uh, we got a left hand trigger finger. So he's a right hand trigger finger, left hand trigger finger. And then we got a left fist and a right fist. So those are the five different hands. He does come with a swappable shoulder pauldron with his mud horn on it, which is the way I'm going to be displaying it. It's Velcro, so it just pops off like so. Take this one and pop it on. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, there goes Grogu. He said, I had enough. He also has his pistol. Which, detail on it is pretty good. There we go. Look at that. Looks good, right? He comes with a tracking fob. My fat fingers are in the way. Bam, there we go. That was the back of it. Tracking fob. Which, I believe, go... And the directions weren't very good, but I guess I, I, I figured he kind of goes like this. Come on, get on there. And around. So that's where I'm having him keep the tracking fob. He comes with a Viro blade. 
which can be held in. Nope, not that hand, not that hand. It's gotta be this hand. Bam, nice and snug. Step, stab, step, stab. Or it can be stored in this shoe right here. Bam. So there's that. He does come with a detonator. Oh, shit, I dropped it. Uno momento. Okay, I'm back. So it comes with a little thermal detonator, which goes in here. And you kind of feel a snap, but it doesn't really stay in very well. So be careful with that if you do have this guy. Let's see what else he can. Okay, his gauntlet. So we got this right here. This piece comes off. Sorry. Oops. Okay, so we have... Right there, his piece comes off. If you want to switch this out, it comes with an extra piece, which is right here. There we go. So it looks like we got the little rockets about to come out. All right, it also comes with this cool effect. I enjoy this effect a lot. So we got the little whistling whisper thingy. I forget what the fuck they're called. Excuse the language. But yeah, this looks cool. And all it does is snaps on. Like so. And then bam, look at it. Doesn't that look good? That looks cool. I like that a lot. He also has a flamethrower effect which just goes on this gauntlet over here. They say you gotta remove the hand, but you really don't. You just kinda move it out of the way, see? And then this, this slips in and bam, there you go. You have a flamethrower effect, which is pretty cool. Or we got a grappling hook, which just, oh, I forget where this one goes. I think this goes right here. I don't know. I'll have to look at the directions, but yeah, he comes somewhere. Whatever. Grappling hook. You get the idea. I'm not going to be displaying the grappling hook, that's for sure. All right. And then he also comes with a flashlight for his helmet, which all you do is pop this off. And then we got this guy right here. Uh, bam. So now he has a flashlight on his head. I don't really like the flashlight, so mine will not be displayed with it. I just prefer the regular. Bam. All right. He also comes with a hologram of himself. So why would he be talking to himself? I do not know. I mean, they could have done more. Something else. And then he also comes with a Beskar brick, one for his hand. He comes with the Cantino, Canto, the ice cream maker, which has, comes like so. It comes with more Beskar, you can break, and this, this is a magnet, it goes like that. The, uh, this ice cream thing does light up, so take it off, you remove this and put the three little batteries, which is extremely hard with my sausage fingers. It took me a while, but you turn it on and ta-da. So it does light up. Just, you gotta take the top off in order to turn on each time, which is okay. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but hey. But yeah, and then these just snap. There's, see the little thing? This goes right here, pops right in, and ta-da. You got your ice cream maker. And then his reward, which, I mean, this is cool, but he used this Beskar to make that armor. So why does he have so much Beskar? He's hoarding it. He's hoarding it. And then the last thing that he comes with, of course, is his rifle. His rifle is very nice. Um, this scope is removable. So you got a removable scope. And it just pegs in. There's... With little holes. There's little holes. Put it right on the blaster. Bam. One of the cool things about this is... Where is it at? This piece right here. If I can get it. Come on. Pops up. And you can load. 
let's get one of the cartridges in. Oh, look, bam. It's in there. It's loaded. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it seems unnecessary, but it's cool. You got, I think it looks good. There we go. But I don't know. I'm enjoying the hot toy quite a bit. Let me put this back. Careful with these little things. They do tend to uh, fall out if you're not careful. Pay attention. Now, as far as storage for this goes, it is it has a little buckle here, right? And all it does is peg in right here. And it slings over. Whoops. There we go. Hold on. Uno momento. There we go. It's going to sling over his shoulder here. You're going to plug it in. And then through the back, if you wanted to keep it secure and have an angle. Oh, come on. They have a hole in the in his uh, cape here. You're going to... There we go. And then it just goes like this. And there's two little magnets on this. And ta-da! And that keeps it in place like so. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Bam. So, there. that's just a quick look at the Mandalorian. Uh, hot toy. Best car armor and a child. I know it's not the best, but you get a quick look at it. Um, I do think this is a very cool figure. If you do not have a Mandalorian and you're into hot toys and can afford it, I highly recommend him. I cannot wait. Um, the missus went ahead and bought me the heavy Mandalorian. It was supposed to be for Christmas. It didn't get here in time. So now it's supposed to be for birthday, but the birthday passed. But that should be coming pretty soon. So hopefully I get the heavy Mando and I'm going to have those two right next to each other. They're going to look good. Um, so go ahead, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, all that BS. Uh, and don't forget, go collect some stuff and things. Have a good day. Bye.